guys. Welcome back to my channel, Writing Practices. Today, we are going to learn how to write a permission letter for farewell party. What is a permission letter for a farewell party? A permission letter for a farewell party is an official formal letter written to higher authorities in order to seek permission to attend an event, use a facility, ask for leave, etc., for the sake of holding a farewell party. A permission letter should be written in a polite tone. Here, Writing Practices will show you how to write a permission letter for a farewell party step by step. Check this out. First thing first, write the letter of the date. In this example is October 14, 2023. And then, write the recipient information. In this example, the letter is for the principal. You can either write the principal or directly write his or her full name. And then, write the organization or school or company name if it is in the work field. And write the address or just write the city since you are in the same building or area. Once you are done with the recipient's information, write the subject of the letter. Here, write request letter for setting up a farewell party. And you may open the letter with Dear Sir or Madam, or Dear Principal, or Dear Mr. or Ms. or Mrs. followed by the last name of the recipient. In the first paragraph, introduce yourself first. In this example, the writer is writing this letter in the name of the class. So, the writer mentioned the name of the class. After that, write the reason why you are writing this letter. In this example, the writer wants to request permission to set up a surprise farewell party. And of course, don't forget to mention whom this part is for. In this example, the party is for the teacher who is leaving soon, named Miss Sophia. After that, Mention the date of the surprise farewell party. You have to write the month, date, and year. If it is possible, write also the time. And write the urgency of the farewell party to be held. You have to convince the recipient that this event is important and necessary. For example, the writer said the whole class will miss the teacher so bad. And the party here will be the best way to celebrate the last day together. In the second paragraph, write more about what kind of permission you are asking. You can mention the facility you want to use for the party, such as a room. Yes, you need to mention what room it is specifically. So, everything you asked here is clear. Write that you and team wants to use and decorate it. And you have to convince the recipient that your event won't disturb the others. For example, you pick the room that is far from other classes or offices. Again, you have to convince the recipient about this that everything will run smoothly and cause no trouble in the future. In the third paragraph, what about funds? Here, you have to explain whose money will be used for the party. And explain also how did the funds gained. In this example, the money is from students of the class who hold the party. And write how the funds will be spent. For example, they may be for food, beverage, decoration, and a gift. You have to mention them all here. 
and to convince the recipient, you have to show your responsibility that you will clean the room after the party. This is a must. In the fourth paragraph, thank the recipient for the consideration about this matter. And write your hope as the closing sentence. For example, you write a that you hope the recipient to grant the permission. Write warming words here like the party is the send-off that the teacher deserves and so on. And finally, close the letter with sincerely. Write your full name or the organization or the class. And write the school name. So, that's how you write a permission letter for a farewell party step by step. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.